hey guys in this video we're going to be building this fun card component from Frontimental. so if you're new to the channel the link in the description to the start files are going to be in the description down below which you have the image the style guide and the fonts image a lot of helpful things they're going to need so we have our index.html file what we will need to do now is i'll make it a new style.css if you're new to the channel, please like subscribe because let's get into the video. We do a lot of fundamental challenges that yeah, we do a lot of fundamental challenges here. So yeah, so let's get started. So first of all, what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the style guide. I'm gonna say container and inside here. We're gonna we're gonna put this right here. Okay. Okay, now, so how are we going to build this? It's a very important question. So first of all, let's start with the obvious things. We have an avatar. I'm going to say the image. Go for slash font images. Avatar Jessica. Okay, so then we have the avatar paragraph, which is London. Sorry. London. Doesn't seem right. Well, it's actually quite right. King. No. London United Kingdom. Okay. Now we have that there. So we're gonna say. Uh, we're gonna have another paragraph that. So. Yeah, so we're going to have another paragraph that says front end developers are. No, we don't even need to even copy the text. So we have that right inside here. So what I want to do is I want to, These are exercise buttons. There's nothing really come together about them. So we just say button times six, five. Inside one of them, we put uh, GitHub. GitHub. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not GitHub twice. We we'll put in front end mentor. We we'll put LinkedIn. And we we'll put um, we we'll put Twitter or Twitter. Put Instagram, and we should be about done with the HTML ish. But there are some things that we need to do, we have to group this properly. And uh, yeah, so card body. So, one good rule of thumb when building cards, I don't like leaving elements flying around, I like grouping them so I can collectively control their spacing. Uh, okay, so this all everything that is a card body, and this top is inside like an avatar. Day. Which is quite nice and it's all inside the container so everything is well nicely contained so firstly now we need a h3 for the job jessica randall okay and what we'll do is i'll remove this so now we have the html all done now it's for the css i'm gonna come here i'm gonna say body background color red now this annoying background color we should be able to see it now so sorry as i said if the, the links are in the description down below so now i know how you feel you probably haven't seen your html but now we can click the like uh, i hope it, this doesn't open the edge though okay now so we'll come here to local host 5500 you might not have to do this if Chrome is already a different browser. Why is it refuse to connect? Okay, it has not yet started. So give it a little bit of time. So why that is applying, we want to go to the style guide. I want to see CSS variable everything. It's nice to use CSS variables. So we're going to use CSS variables. 
so inside the body you can actually this is inside the roof too but uh, okay now so everything is well put together so i'm going to attach some variable double dot slash and put a colon so you put double slash to a colon this is actually quite this is extremely nice because the editor will give you intelligence so double dash to input our semicolon 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 and put a dash so this is our background color i want to say body uh, i mean i want to say background color we want to give it a background color of Var, this is how you assess the CSS variable of black. So I don't know why this this is one of the same Okay, yes, yeah, style guide. Okay, now we have that nice background color. So what we want to do now is I want to say um, container with 400 pixels. And say background color bar. I'll say I'll call this uh, should it be dark gray. So I'm gonna split my screen to two actually, so I can see this properly. Okay, now that's actually quite nice. So for the back, so, so we want to center this in the dead center of the screen. Let's put this here and uh, put this here. So to center that we use flexbox to say display flex justify content to center it on the x axis align item to center it on the y axis and since it doesn't take up the full height you're not going to say center on the vertical axis so we'll say mean height 100 feet height okay that's looking quite nice so on the container i want to give this a padding padding 20 pixels I want to say border radius 10 pixels. Everything is looking quite nice. So we want to give a color of uh, dash white. I want to put in the proper font. So I'm going to say font face. Font face. So this is how I put in an offline font. It's a source and you put on URL dot for slash where the font is. So if you download the start files, this should be available to you. So we'll put a static font, we we'll put regular. Okay. So after I put the source, we'll give it a name, which could be any name. We'll call it font family any name so i'm gonna call this a uh, enter we we'll call this my font so it's just a convention here that i'm just giving the first letter on capitalized so what we want to do is i want to move i want to I want to use the every selector uh which one is a font family my Font. They want to override any other thing. You should be very careful when you're using this. It will actually for a big project. I will actually use this way with other different components because this is like everything I give it this font. Right? Sometimes you might want different font for different different things. So we refresh our page. It is not applying that font. I wonder why. Why isn't it applying the font? Okay, we have our font here static. Okay. So for this one, I've actually quite done it in some specific projects before, and I think I just forgot. So I was gonna quickly Google it. So how to add a font with 
So I'm gonna use W3 screws here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the phone family is supposed to be up first. So let's save that and then yeah, so we have our font. Okay, that's pretty nice. So now let's do the other side. So what I want to do is I want to say with avatar image. I want to say with a hundred pixels. So we're gonna get give, give it width and height of a perfect square and now we want to give that perfect square a border radius of 50 percent to make a perfect circle okay so inside the container we want to give okay yeah. inside the avatar we want to give it a margin of zero or two or rather I should I say text align center okay that's quite nice so we'll do the same thing in the card body so in the card body you want to give it a text align of center sorry for the capital letter there Okay, everything is looking quite nice. So in the card body, you want to say display flex. I say justify content. So sorry, sorry, sorry. Not just like flex works will keep everything in row kind of format by default. But to eliminate this behavior, we want to say flex direction. Cool. So now we have our buttons. Now, so for our buttons or rather to be even even to be most specific card body buttons let's just say you had another button somewhere else i want to say padding 10 pixels 20 pixels i don't know if that's enough padding it looks like enough padding i just well normally just like the smaller value is way smaller than the other value because i think this is padding for the top and left i think so it's not it's normally smaller than the other value. No, this is for the left and right. And why this is for the top and bottom? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Normally for it. But when I give him pattern to a button, this one is normally smaller. This one I just try around and play with bits and figures. So what I want to do is I want to say margin bottom 10 pixels. Border radius. 10 percent 10 pixels 5 pixels to curve maybe we might even make this 15.5 oh yeah this looks better so now what we want to do is i want to say outline none i want to give this a background of var so which gray are we giving gray? Oh, I'm sorry, dark. So I think it's supposed to be gray because if you just give it dark gray, it's just gonna blend with the card or something. Yeah, gray. So color white. So there's something that we are not eliminating because or some, there's something that we are not eliminating. So you want to say card body button dot active. I want to say outline. No, it's not an outline. What is this? But any any so so let's just continue and say cursor pointer will debunk that later and what i want to do is i want to say card body button 
pull on hover. I want to do that. I want to set the color to black. I want to see background var dash dash. What? Where is this color? It's not in our variable. So we can add it to our set of variable. So it's called green. These variables are pretty nice. Every time I'm building for time changes from now on, I always use them. I mean, always use them. Forgotten what this property is. We'll, we'll, we'll debug this in a moment. Is it bug shadow? Now? Because the scene in button is obviously isn't making me happy at all. So let's inspect our button and see what is making the button like this. Okay, I think it's border. It's border that's making the button like this. So we say border none, and that should do the trick. And you can see our buttons are better like this now. So we want to say background green. Ah, you can see we have the same effect. If effect. So what I want to do now is I want to say font weight. We might need to add, attach a different font to so that it will be very bold. But what we do have some pretty bold results. Say bolder. So now what I want to do is I want to give this paragraph a color of green. So we'll say avatar paragraph color var dash dash green. Give this a font weight, font weight, bolder. Let's look at our design sheet. So I think 400 pixels might be a bit too much for this one. Just normally start with. Let's try 350. So I feel like let's 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 put our design into the browser and see. And then let's see. Let's see if we can put our design into the browser and see. But we are looking pretty close. I'm gonna drag this all the way here. And let's put this side by side. See, we are looking pretty close here. Pretty pretty close. I'll say this is this is pixel perfect. Maybe 350 might even be too much. Maybe 330. Perfect. I can't see the difference. Can you see the difference? Pretty much perfect. And the cool thing about it is it's responsive. It's responsive. Even beyond screens that are small and than than 330 pixels because if you put it on 320 it still pretty looks much nice 375 it looks okay so i hope you're able to learn something and build a pretty much nicely responsive ui from this video and if you did make sure to like leave a like or subscribe we're able to do this quickly i hope i was not too fast make sure to that's my number one golden rule of signing button the smaller padding the one first is smaller but i bring on smart and make sure to always give your buttons border and outline known. Then you just give it some color. Then before you know you have a button, that's your sizes. And then in the HTML, make sure to group your elements properly. Card body, it contains all the elements from here down. Why avatar contains all the other elements up? Okay, so thanks for watching.